We got to get Stephen here because uh, he spent a lot of the morning cutting up uh, the latest George Carlin special. Oh, right. oh! I taped that. It was any good? I heard a little bit of it uh, in He's the not office. A fan. Eh, not a fan I of the Carlin. Still, I think I'm he's still doing. I'm a fan of the old Carlin. I think George Carlin is still uh, relevant. No, stop it! I swear it. to God, You're I think lying. he's still relevant. I You're went lying. saw him. Uh, Opie's lying. I went and saw him uh, a couple years ago. Uh, film one of his HBO specials, and it was <clears> great. I'm not digging on him anymore. Used to be cool. Used to be relevant. Used to be cutting edge. Now, all he does here's what he does. He gets up on stage. And starts rattling things off. And it's more, how quickly can I just babble shit out? And then not one laugh during the time he's speaking. Then when he finishes babbling and babbling, he gets an applause break. And then he's back to babbling again. Trying to rhyme, almost like he's rapping. It's almost like a George Carlin rap. Not funny. I think you're right, but I think if if his... uh, What an asshole, Derek. Come on. Uh... (laughs) <laughs> if if the stuff he was talking about wasn't uh, oh, I was Travis that time. If the stuff he was talking about was completely irrelevant, I think he'd have a point. But he's got he's actually trying to. Uh, it's unfortunately, look, I don't know how into popular culture he is at, the, at this stage in his life, but it almost sounds forced. That's like Terry when Gar he, when he makes. Yeah, um, she's a wreck. Holy <laughs> sh! That's Terry Gar. Oh my God. Al Roker's Wasn't she cute in like Sorry, an episode Anthony. of Star Trek? We have a lot of TVs in the studio. She was in. Mr. Mom no, that's what that's what you look like if you don't do any work. That's that what uh, Goldie Hawn should look like. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that is wow. not Terry Gar. Good for her. She that's got like a she's fifty three and she face. looks like it. Wow, what happened? That's her. You can't even tell it's her. She, she was even kind of cute in Close Encounters. It looks like she has like you fat know? makeup on for a role she's playing. She's going to be in the Nutty Professor for part three. <laughs> you know, she was uh, she was supposed to be like Goldie Hawn a little back in those days, the wacky, goofy kind of do- ditzy blonde. And um, wow, that's her. I mean, uh, uh, she's uh, got to be on some kind of medication that puffs her up. Uh, she's got no, the, she uh, isn't. Jerry she's, Lu- she's like, maybe she's on the Jerry Lewis drug. Maybe, maybe. What we're, we're going on in the country at the time. And then one of your biggest challenges, obviously, you know, for years you were suffering with pain, and then you're you're oh. diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Oh, <laughs> what <that> you? oh <laughs> baby. What went through your mind when you finally got the diagnosis? Well, you know, when I finally got the diagnosis, I was uh, at last uh, uh, happy to know what maybe there was something we could put a name to this. But oh, um, th- I had symptoms for many. Wow, that time oh. is a bitch. I gotta tell you, no one escapes wow. time. No one. That tick time tock, stinks. tick tock. There was a there was a there was a time she was considered sexy. Kind she of like was. She was 20 years ago. Fucking hot, yeah. She, she used to do cute. those Letterman appearances, and there was a little chemistry there, a little little, yes. little sexual energy. Come on, uh-huh. a little dress there. She a little was skirt. Hot. And then she played yeah. in a lot of movies where she was uh, very sexy. Mm-hmm. Anyway, go uh, ahead, Steve. <laughs> I uh, I understand what uh, Ant's saying. Uh, I just think... Uh, Terry God. Uh, 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 yes, he's is. still... You know, he's, he's, he, he does make you think. He does come yeah, up with relevant, it sounds relevant material. Do you think? Like when, he was, when he's talking about the Internet, even. It sounds like an old guy trying to reference the Internet. Like, I, I, I'm he's sorry. About, he's just, there's nothing you can do. Tick tock, tick tock. He's not a kid anymore. No, I, and, I, I and understand. older I love people him. tend to not be able to reference uh, things that are current very well. I, I think so, there's, out of place. there's a part of him that's still stuck in the 70s, he, I think. He, he, but he, still, he, he, he does come up with relevant material. And, and in addition to that two-minute monologue that he comes up with in the beginning, or three-minute monologue that he does in the beginning of his HBO special, which I agree does sound forced because it's like beat poetry almost. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Which is not a relevant art form, I think, anymore. Would it beat poetry go away 20 years ago, 30 years ago? I don't know. I think he's still brilliant. I don't he got fired. George he Carlin got fired. Beat poet. At MGM. The MGM really? Grant, he got fired. Oh, yeah, he went out great. there. The guy's like pushing 70, he, and he's selling tickets, and he still gets fired. Yeah, I think he's still He went out there really and just don't. bashed the place. No, bashed saying, what, what, what kind of a fucking idiot would actually come to Las Vegas? Yeah. I would have loved him been sitting there seeing bashed those the city, bashed the people in the audience for being there. Yeah, I just don't think he wanted the gig. Let me, let me go to David for one second. David? Hey, guys. Hey. Good morning. Hi. Take it fast, bro. We're in, uh, we're in a flow here, I think. You got it. I think I'm we got something with, going on. I'm calling you with a little heads up here. I just got my new subscription of uh, FHM Magazine. Yeah. 
as a beautiful insert uh, for XM Satellite Radio, and you guys are displayed very, very nicely in the middle of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're doing yeah, that in go. all the hot magazines this month. Great. Awesome. Your sandwich between uh, Frank and Tyra. FHM. Oh, all right, I know. It, that's the same pullout they had at Us, uh, us Weekly, or Us Finally. Magazine, whatever Finally. it's called. Yeah, they're cool. taking care of you guys. Thank you, David. I appreciate that. You got it. Yeah, Terry Garr and Young Frankenstein. Very, yeah. Very, mm -hmm. very high. There you go. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes, you were. So why don't we play the Carlin then? Okay. Life is worth losing. Life is worth losing was the HBO special. Yeah. You want to play the uh, the first uh, bit? Yeah, you should have. Let's it right hey, is that naked uh, Terry Gar? Yeah. Where, man. What movie is that from? That's from uh, one from the heart, 1982. 82. Huh. All right. No. Too many All right, as we go to break, some George Carlin from his. HBO oh, we're not going to comment on it. Oh, you want to? Yeah, I don't want him to get away with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just fucking playing a comic. By the way, we're going to start podcasting. Accepting podcasts on this show. What? But listening mm. to podcasts? We're going to have people send in their podcasts. Oh, okay. mm. oh great. Who are they emailing those to? Um, Steve. I got a communique from Elo. It's a whole thing he wants to try. Okay. Podcasting. We got to set up a system. Okay. And people are going to do, like, a show. And then... Yeah, it's got to be, like, three or four minutes long, though. Really short. Uh-huh. And then we'll uh, we'll do something with them. Maybe we'll do something on the weekend or something. Uh -huh. we got to start jazzing up the weekends on this channel. We really You want to play jazz on the weekends? Why? Well, that would be nice, too. <laughs> and we're also uh, having the listeners vote for their favorite bits since we're... Since being at XM. We're going to have mm -hmm. an end-of-year special. Ooh, how about that? That's going to be uh, very, very involved, hopefully. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so you want to comment about this? Yeah, leave the mics on. I, I just want to hear. All right. I'm a modern man, a man for the millennium. Digital and smoke-free. A diversified multicultural... What happened? Postmodern deconstruction. Uh, you know... Um, CD one or two? If this CD player is still in here tomorrow, it will it won't be in here anymore. Okay. Are you saying that you're gonna rip it out and break it open? Because I couldn't believe that. I've never seen you do anything like that. Well, I wouldn't take it as a real threat. Anybody. Well, now listening. it's interrupting our show. It's yes, happened it three or four times. We said that there's something wrong with this CD player. Is it the CD that uh, you guys recorded? What do you like? Better not. No, oh. Opie, you wouldn't do something like. Come on, oh, Opie, put it down. Oh my oh, God. Oh, oh. oh Jesus. In the office. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. He's ripping it. Well, now it's got to be fixed because now the tray doesn't close. So now we can't use it. Now we can't be confused right. and use it. By which one works and because which one Because, look, doesn't. now it doesn't work now at all. Now it doesn't work. See? See, now we won't be confused anymore, and it won't interrupt the flow of our radio. Yeah. Show. See, that's what we do. See? Were you supposed to pull it, Ooh, I heard something crack. <sighs> I just I'm a modern man, a man for the millennium, digital and smoke-free, a diversified multicultural postmodern deconstruction is politically, anatomically, and ecologically incorrect. I've been uplinked and downloaded, I've been inputted and outsourced, I know the upside of downsizing, I know the downside of upgrading. I'm a high-tech lowlife, a cutting-edge, state-of-the-art, bi-coastal multitasker, and I can give you a gigabyte in a nanosecond. Um, All right, and then they just applaud that it w was that... No, but that's always been his style, though. It really has. You know, Carlin also uh, memorizes pages and pages and pages of monologue. That hasn't always See, been his style. You're not helping it, George I, Carlin. Sorry. His I think flow, he's brilliant, but to say that he's a good, he's good at mesmer, uh, mesmerizing. Jesus, uh, I think yeah, memorizing, he's memorizing. All right, that he's good at memorizing. It's not going to help. You know, I understand that was the argument. That I can understand that's his here. style. That whole flow thing. But usually, it's funny. Like that's not funny. He's just sit standing there. He's he's babbling. Just how many words can I fucking string together and throw out there? And then people applaud for the fact that, wow, he did it without really stuttering or tripping up. It wasn't funny, but I'm kind of impressed that his tongue and teeth work together so well. All right, let's take a little more. I'm sorry. I, I'm not, listen not here. taking it. I'm new wave, but I'm old school, and my inner child is outward bound. I'm a hot-wired, heat-seeking, warm-hearted, cool customer, voice-activated and biodegradable. I interface on my database. My database is in cyberspace, so I'm interactive, I'm hyperactive, and from time to time, I'm radioactive. See, they, he's using, like, old terminology. I, uh... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I just can't rip the... Consider of most, course most you're guys, a comic, you can. No, I've seen guys who were just dated and they're 35. Yeah. What's up with the Gulf War? I mean, the first one, you remember that? This guy's like pushing 70 and it's like... He, 
I don't know. You didn't like the last special where he was telling people that their kids weren't special and that there's no God. No, that's watching good. people freaking I, out. I like that. I shit. thought he was extremely that bitter. Bit extremely bitter in his last special, uh, which is fine. You know, he did get very angry for a while. He's, yeah, he's he throttled like back. Really I think. pissed. Well, because he's got a new lady. Oh, does he? Yeah, yeah his, his, his first wife. It was a really good interview right in uh, Rolling Stone magazine, and he's got a, a very young uh, lady right now. If and he's I, very, very happy. If I like paid to see George Carlin, no, I'm not like going out to see a lot of comics in my life. I I just know about Carlin. You know, I don't know everything about him, but I pay good money to, to see him, and I sit down, and I get like this kind of thing. I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna be sitting there going. Eh, not fucking funny. All right, let's continue. Let's see Three more applause. Behind the eight ball, ahead of the curve, riding the wave, dodging the bullet, pushing the envelope. I'm on point, on task, on message, and off drugs. I got no need for coke and speed. I got no urge to binge and purge. I'm in the moment, on the edge, over the top, but under the radar. A high concept, low profile, medium range ballistic missionary. A streetwise smart bomb. A top gun bottom feeder. I wear power ties, I tell power lies, I take power naps, I run victory laps. I'm a totally ongoing Bigfoot slam dunk rainmaker with a proactive outreach. A raging workaholic. A working rage out of rehab and in denial. Oh, and then he goes in. Yeah. That guy. He's ripping off Nipsey Russell. <laughs> I got a personal trainer, oh. a personal shopper, a personal assistant. And then, and see? A, uh, keeps going. And then he keeps going. All right, we'll save everybody. Right. What are you doing? No, no, because this makes my point. This makes my point. I'm not, I'm, you know what? I'm not even going to argue it anymore. Okay. I think you win. <laughs> I'm not. I, I think it's, this goes on and on. I think it's pretty clever how he could, you know, throw all that together. But, but that's not his whole. Uh, oh, were you just doing? Yeah, it? you just, you just got you his just did it. Back. You know what? If if Hendrix lived, he'd, he'd pretty be clever throwing him this right together. Now. Be lighting a fucking accordion on fire at this point. <laughs> yeah, look at this guy. That's I, I don't talk shit again. But I don't listen to George Carlin because he could string all that. Crap no, together. I mean, no, I like when he, that's I like not when he gets act. into actual yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's. Uh, the, uh, I can't really argue that. I think Anthony's making a pretty good point there. It's clever. It's uh, well thought out. And but he's, enough. He's and maybe gonna, throw it out for right. one little round. He's you good get at the memorizing applause. and all that. But is it actually funny? No, it's it's clever. It's yeah. And it's got a, almost like a, a beat to it. I'm you know? a lean, mean fighting machine. Ah, tell a joke. <laughs> he does. That's, cut that's... cheese, toast, and some green beans. <laughs> <laughs> that's only three minutes of his uh, of an hour long special. The rest, the of... first three. Yeah, but then the uh, the next bit here: education, uh, educational system, and corporations own the U.S. Right. That's right? that's a typical Carlin, you know, you know, uh, you know, anti bitter, you know, establishment, anti establishment kind of... bitter rant. Right? All right, I'm I'm willing to open my mind. Let's say hi to Mike on Long Island. Mike? Yeah. Hey. We saw uh, George Carlin at Westbury last year. Half the place walked out on him. It was awful. Why? Really? He he was terrible. Yeah. He's probably working out the special. All right. It, it was awful. Yeah. I mean, the guy was just not funny. All right. Thanks, Mike. Let's say hi to Aaron. Aaron? Yeah. Hey. What's up? What's up? Well, I'm telling you, this last his last special sucked. It was cynical. <laughs> it was morbid. And it was, and he's usually, you know, <clears throat> hates humans, blah blah blah, loves disasters and whatnot. But this time, this last special, he's gone off the deep end. He's just shitty. All right, thank you, Aaron. See, yeah, well said. Let's See, say hi no, to they're Penn. missing the. That's why he's enjoyable. Yeah, I like yeah. the black comedy. No, yeah. it's, it's, I like it's the to listen to that reaction. Yeah. Then you go see him and you watch him be this guy. He's just gone off the deep But everything end. that guy just listed is exactly why people like Carlin. Yeah. It's because he's so morbid. There's 75 to 100 people walked out on his show, show in Denver about a year ago. Mm. Let's say hi to wow. Ken in Pittsburgh. Ken? Hi, Owen. Hi. Hey, uh, I saw Carlin, like, it, was, it must have been March last year, and he was reading that poetry that he did on the HBO special so, I've got to memorize this for the HBO special, and he's reading it. I was reading it? Yeah. You guys mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh should be feel lucky that Carlin even came to your city. Oh, he, he was great, other than <laughs> that beginning part. All right, thank you, sir. And aren't the kids are you not special? When, you know, come on, Bill Hicks, didn't he do that? That whole thing mm -hmm. about how your kids aren't special? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then he's wiped a whole generation off his chest with a sock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, let's uh, get into this other clip, and we'll see where it goes. All right. But if you talk to one of them about this, if you isolate one of them, you sit them down rationally, and you talk to them about the low IQs and the dumb behavior and the bad decisions, right away they start talking about education. That's the big answer to everything. Education. They say, we need more money for education. We need more, more, more books, more teachers, more classrooms, more schools. Uh, we need more testing for the kids. And you say to them, well, you know, we've tried all of that, and the kids still can't pass the test. They say, oh, don't you worry about that. We're going to lower the passing grades. And that's what they do in a lot of these schools now. They lower the passing grades so more kids can pass. More kids pass. The school looks good. Everybody's happy. The IQ of the country slips another two or three points. And pretty soon, all you'll need to get into college is a fucking pencil. <laughs> Got a pencil? Get the fuck in there. It's physics. Then everyone wonders why 17 other countries graduate more scientists than we do. Education. Politicians know that word. They use it on you. Politicians have traditionally hidden behind three things. The flag, the Bible, and children. No child left behind. No child left behind. Oh, really? Well, it wasn't long ago you were talking about giving kids a head start. Head start, left behind. Someone's losing fucking ground here. But there's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason for this. There's a reason education sucks. And it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. It's never going to get any better. Don't look for it. Be happy with what you got. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The big, re the wealthy man. The real owners, the big, wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. They're, they're, they're irrelevant. The, the politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the State Houses, the City Halls. They've got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media, media news, all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they you want. Can. Well, we know yeah. what they want. Yeah, they want there's really no setup punch anymore. It's yeah, true. Okay. Right, I mean, right, what right. he's saying, you know, it's, but it, it, this sounds, you could sit smoking a joint with any aged hippie and hear this shit. That, that's, there's no jokes here. It's just him fucking babbling about the government and... <sighs> That's not the George Carlin of old. It's I'm sorry. On, it's old George Carlin. It's his views on education and, uh, and corporations in America. Great. Do it in a comedic style. Yeah, Don't true. just tell me, hey, there's politicians out there and what they're doing is... And he thinks because he's doing it in this like kind of flow that it's any better than just being lectured. That's a fucking lecture you went to. You paid to see George Carlin lecture you on fucking... Politics. And I got to tell you, yes, I knew we were going to do this today, and I thought you and I would have a lively discussion, and I knew Bill wouldn't say anything because it's about a comedian, and, and you know how God forbid, courageous uh, comics are yeah, talking about all the comics. That paved the way. God forbid. But I got to tell you, I think I see it your way now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I really wow. do. Well, thank you. I you like... I think Carlin's I, well, a bitter old man. Who the fuck am I to trash George Carlin? You're not the what only guy. What are you guy. hearing? And Use I... your own mind, man. Okay, okay. So his 98th HBO special maybe fucking <laughs> Say, uh, <laughs> missed the mark a Say, little bit. Uh, I mean, what what the fuck do you want but from Anthony me here? Anthony and I have been at this a long time. We just noticed when comedians come in and, and we start a lively discussion about comics, you guys will just not say a word. Yep. Why? What? What do you mean? What? Well, first of all, you're talking George Carlin. You're and I'm not, not attacking bringing, you. You're not I'm just bringing up some jackass. No, we've done this uh, with Robin Joe Williams. Joe Rogan came in here and trashed everybody. But the thing about it, he was trashing guys. It's like he's trashing Carlos Mencia. I don't know the fucking guy. I'm, you know. No, we're not. All right, you can say George. Hold on. Hold I mean, what on. the fuck? And then you hold guys on, end up on. having him in here the next week, and you're, you're talking That's to him. That's what makes and it you, fun. And you never brought this shit up to him, did you? Yeah, we did. Oh yeah. Played, Carlos, that's not did. what I heard. I'm just out on a limb right now. We played the, no, we the, play the clips. <laughs> we played the clips. Uh, kind of I, I didn't hear that. This is what I want to say. <laughs> this is what I want to say. <laughs> George Carlin, I think, is a very funny guy. I got the box set, and I, I, I buy a lot of the stuff that he puts out, okay? So I'm not questioning if he's talented, if he's had a great career. Of course, mm -hmm. he's on HBO every year, every two years. He's, Yeah, he's done some great things, things we'll never do in our career. Absolutely. Yeah, okay, you want to know what but I all I'm saying is, what do you think of this right now, what we're, what we're playing? 
What do I think about that? I mean, yeah, I think you guys are, are, are right. It's like he's he's more like preaching at this point. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he probably could use some jokes in there. But, I mean, I, I mean, who the fuck am I to criticize the guy? Just a person that's but, hearing but something. Anyone, there's there's a mechanic in, 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 in Columbus, Ohio that's criticizing exactly. him right now. I don't think I'm anybody. I can't that... play guitar and I'll rip Nickelback and I'll say they What's, suck, what? right? You have to be qualified to criticize. Yeah, them. I'm not but anybody. All of a sudden, that can once criticize. you once you're doing it, once you're doing it, it makes a different person. And you pick like the fucking like living legend, and I'm supposed to fucking trash him? No, no. We're just you're trying not. to be honest, though. I've I mean, never trashed uh, Ellen no. DeGeneres. I like Ellen. I hate to say, Ellen but I, is I a like her. Genius, I, I horrendous. Like her. She looks like she signed the I like Constitution. Her <laughs> oh, is like that mine? Ah, yeah, uh, it's George Carlin calling. That's my dad. Let's, right. up on him. Let's listen to more George. Let's here. Know my... what they want. They oh, want more for themselves oh, and terrible. less for everybody else. No, I mean, you know what I mean? You're you you gonna go want. pick on your, your fucking grandfather in a goddamn nursing home? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the fuck is? Look how he walks now. Oh, I mean, Jesus Christ! Give the guy a fucking break. He's like 70 years old. But he's not doing he's this. He's still up there doing but it. He's not doing this act at an old I... age home. He's doing it on HBO. But he's also been I... bitter old George Carlin now for the better part of 10 years. Maybe I should have prefaced this. Dude, did you see that AIDS bit he did? He did a fucking bit about AIDS I, in the early it. 90s when he was like bit. fucking 93. Yeah, I, he's 69 right now, so he's not even that Maybe old. I should have prefaced it a little better. That, yes, the guy's had a great career. He's been funny. Recently, he's been funny. We've had him on our show. He stunk. And he wasn't very funny. But it was uh, just great to have him on. It was great to have him on. And I, I wouldn't sit there we and bash him. We were blown away that George Carlin was sitting in The guy's on our got show credentials. The guy can, this shit, fine. It, he, his career makes this just, it, it bowls it over. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying, as I'm putting myself in the position of a paying customer going to this gig and watching it, I would be really disappointed in seeing George Carlin like this. That's all. Like you said, you'd be disappointed. You know, Jimi Hendrix right now would probably blow. But you're seeing Hendrix and you get people going, fucking Hendrix. But you'd be like, eh, yeah. It's not Hendrix. Hey, he'd be fat now. Yeah. <laughs> Probably well, we know up what they want. They want stink. more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. Dude, you know That's what this is like? Thank it, you, it, it, it would be like making fun of ACDC. I grew up, I love them. You mean you going to tell me they haven't yeah. been writing the same fucking song for the last 30 years? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. he has. They, they got like two topics that they, they write about. I still love them. They still rock and sound yeah. great, though. But it's still verse, chorus, you take, verse. Right. You know, <laughs> you could take them in 2005, take them in 95, take them in 85, and it's it's very Angus haven't been very doing comparable. the exact same bit the way he moons the crowd. That's but, true. You know, and and, and then Brian Johnson puts him up on his 92 year old shoulders. I mean, <laughs> 90. See, now you got me trashing a band I actually love, but it's you just like, like the guys. Come on. <laughs> let's get, uh, yeah. let's get to, to the end of this George Carlin thing. You're not going to be hip when you're 70. I mean, that's not really groundbreaking. Right. But he's on HBO. That's what we're saying. Why does he get a, a you know well, another HBO special? You Maybe a young younger comic. All right, you want to pick a guy, and Rob, younger, Robert Klein. But there's younger. Oh my God! Yeah. There is a guy that just lost any touch of relevance. Uh, r relating to an right, audience. Let me trash a guy. I'll trash him. He stunk the first time I saw him, and he fucking he stunk every. I just I don't. Find you don't that think guy he was funny. kind of relevant, kind of hip back in the not, older days? When oh, when he, he wore his sweater on his yeah. first fucking special. You're no, not, I didn't. Not, you're not brave. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not brave? Robert Klein can't do anything to you. That's why you're attacking him. What is George Carlin going to do? Have He's me open for that. him in fucking Vegas? You could see that George Carlin has that old man strength, and I think you're scared of it. Old man strength. <laughs> Listen, Opie, I've been around Patrice long enough to know when I'm being baited. <laughs> okay? You're going to have to do a lot better than that. Uh, I'll accept that challenge, my friend. <laughs> Give me time. All right, let's get, let's uh, do the last bit of Carlin. Uh, I'm thing. really you're trying to think of a fucking that. legend that in radio that I can bring That's up. That's against mm. their interest. That's right. I know. You know something? They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table to figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. People who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept communist, all these increasingly... communist Russia. 
What, you know, I I know America's got uh, a few problems uh, in the machine, but man, Carlin, it's making it sound like the Soviet Union of the uh, uh, 50s and 60s. I don't know. I don't know what I think about that argument about uh, we don't want an intelligent society. I'm not really sure. The, there's so much information available to human beings out there, regardless of of uh, what the the government controlled media man like he's trying to uh, put across. <laughs> media man. I think he's, man. I, I think he's talking about the big networks and the 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 obviously anyone who gets control. all of their information sure. from television right. or just the newspaper or just the, is a fucking idiot. And, but I think that's what he's talking about right there. But but like there aren't options. But I will like, give you George George is finding the no. options. The problem is is. You have to have like a setup and a punch in there. If if you, if please, that, that's that's what you need. Please, that's I'm looking. What, I'm pleased. Well, yes, but he makes a good point. There's not a joke in here to be had. Yeah, they're I'm great one. points. You can hear it at a lecture. Bill at a Hicks. College. Uh, Bill Hicks is one of my favorites. And when he was doing all this political, he was saying and the same and shit. Stuff, and you were laughing your ass. Like Bill Hicks. Not a big Bill Hicks fan, were you? No. He. But no. at least he made jokes out of this stuff. Because he can't do anything for him because he's dead. Wow. Wow. No, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that I wasn't a fan of Bill. Bill Hicks. <laughs> Real brave. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm, I see the pattern here. That's not what I was saying. <laughs> That's not what I was saying at all. You did challenge me, though. I'm going to have to. You know, to fucking that. Henry Gibson <laughs> right. was doing this poetry back on Laughing. That's right. Yeah, Norm fuck Crosby. Fuck both of you guys. Did you guys say this shit to him when he showed up? No. Huh. Exactly. Faggots. No, I. I'm <laughs> not saying I'm not a fucking two faced fag when these people come onto the show. I am absolutely. So what are you calling me? You're calling pussy. me that right now because I won't trash the guy because he's not here. At least admit to it when it's safe. <laughs> you Russell. know what? When you buy some clothes that actually have a fucking label on it somewhere that I recognize, then what? I'll give you shit. Wow! Did you jump? Yeah. Why are you making fun of our clothes today? Because you're attacking me and I'm fucking Nipsey lashing Russell. back. Nipsey Russell. What is that? Thumbs up or thumbs down? I don't know what it is. What is this? Ugh. What is it? I can't do radio with you anymore. What kind of shirt is it? <laughs> Van Heusen. I have a Van Heusen shirt. Why the You've fuck? never heard of Van Heusen, my friend? Why the fuck do you have a Van Heusen shirt? I'm with Bill now. And first why of all, am I close first of all, now in issue? First of all, that, that, that is the first kind, sign of that, somebody that, that, that has Izod, no point left. That eyes that Izod style shirt should only be like a short sleeve. He has a long sleeve eye out. without the that's fucking the alligator. That's the type of shirt, yeah, that should have some kind of animal symbol on it. I'm with Bill. You are you know grasping. What that, 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 that was on a mannequin at Sears, <laughs> right next to their awful golf equipment and their wow. Voigt football you, you with have, the titanium head. You have just Is that vindicated me. Can when I, you have to jump to my shirt... To bail out of the uh, Carlin uh, uh, discussion. You know why? Because I don't know any fucking legends in radio. Don oh, Imus I, I, I could fucking bring up. Don yeah, Imus. and you guys always go, oh, Don's great. He wears our shirt and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you guys kiss his ass every time I'm fucking in the here. The second he turned on us, it would be all over for Don. I'll tell you <laughs> George what, Carlin never turned on me. I'll tell you, oh, what, I'll tell you what's okay, great you about Don Imus there. if you want to listen. My good friend Don Imus that I called Friday and he didn't call me back. Uh-oh. Um, Yeek. He's uh, he's up there. He's in his 60s, and he's still doing great radio. And uh, nah. he's not the same guy he was, you know, 15, nah. 20 years ago. No. But he's nah. surrounded nah. himself. <laughs> nah. He has surrounded himself with some nah. some quality broadcasters that really keep that show going. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm, and he's a you great, can't do that in stand up. And he's a great leader that still gets the job done. Mm. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> now back to Anthony's uh, shirt. What did I do? Is that your TV shirt? It's Van Heusen. Are you wearing a TV shirt? I thought we were doing some TV today, so I figured I'd wear something that wasn't so slovenly. But at least I just wore mine, Opie. I didn't bring it on a fucking hanger like my, you did. My TV <laughs> shirt's over there. Where's your TV shirt? It's hanging. Uh, look, it's hanging. Yeah, but we're in the trenches. trenches. And let's see what the hey, brand you know name what? is on that one. You know we're what? He's trenches. a professional. Yeah. Oh, you're, that's, you're professional, dude. It's a banana republic. You don't need. I could eat. I, you know what your problem is, MSNBC. man. MSNBC. You do radio, man. I know, man. I'm gonna say you gotta Van have a TV Husen. shirt. I'm gonna say Van Heusen faggier than uh, Banana Republic. You are, but fuck that. Banana Republic could be the faggiest attire ever made. I don't go there a lot, but you could see that, that is that, that you that's go to the shirt. Banana Republic. That's a fine shirt. And their clothes I'm suck. Not doubting it. It's. I, don't, I have two shirts from there. I think. You know, that's about it. Dude, you could have Jesus stopped that I have two shirts. 
Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't take it seriously. Taiwan. How much money is he making? He's still shot oh, to the Banana I don't Republic. I care what I look like. He cares with the Van Heusen. I don't care. It's comfortable to me. Van I'd rather Heusen. wear something that's a little bit better made than just crap. Fucking snob. <laughs> he really is. Van Heusen. Van Heusen. Ugh. What's that <laughs> shirt you're wearing? It's a corduroy button-up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it to come back to my navy uh, blue. Where's the bird fucking needlepoint shirt you had on the other? Women like that shirt. They respond to Women it. Women like it. it. They rub my chest. Nipsey Russell, it. thumbs up, thumbs down. Nipsey Russell. I mean, Jesus Christ. The, guy, the only time I ever saw him was like on game shows. Yeah, game shows. Horrendous. Like Dean Martin roasts. All right. <laughs> Horrendous. <laughs> Horrendous. <laughs> Horrendous. I mean. Here, let's let the, the George Carlin play out here. Mm. To run the machines and oh, do the just paperwork. Beating an old man on the show right now. Passively no, it's all his these shit. Increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now they're coming for your social security money. They want your fucking retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. And you know something? They'll get it. They'll get it all from you sooner or later because they own this fucking place. It's a big club. And you ain't in it. You and I are not in you the big I. club. You and I? George, now you got to calm down. George is in it. George is in it. George, you know you're in it. Stop. When the, when the uh, Democrats talk about taxing the rich, he did lose they want to tax the rich and all the uh, tax cuts that Bush gave to the wealthy. That's, um, he lost you're a, in that club. He lost a lot to the IRS, but I think he's back on top, making yeah, some fine money again. better. You and I. Now, George, you got to calm down with the you and I. And they're coming for you the You guys going to show security. footage of, like, Paul Newman driving his race car next? <laughs> Look, <laughs> we weren't doing how, anything. How he can't fucking make a left turn but anymore. But playing his audio, and I I'm sorry. Out of all the brutal, horrendous fucking hacks out there that you could have fucking popped in some shit, you, you pick this fucking is, George Carlin. Because it's George Carlin. And then expect Carlin. me no. to pile on. We're, th we're all about pop culture. This is in the now. This just happened, uh, Bill. This just happened. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of things that happened, and I didn't hear them on this program. And Steve actually uh, found two clips that he thought were interesting. I thought they were interesting. I, that, I, that was a four-minute clip. There was not one joke in there. No. And you're going to see one a comedy joke. show. That's the only problem I have with Carlin. But it's not like Carlin just started doing that kind of material. He's been doing it for years. But it always had a humor to it. It had a twist, like I, something I, I, funny. I think he's, uh, you know... I like the thing the... where he talks about his stuff and how people have stuff. Ugh. You see that? Yeah. What? I like to see that. Joke. I mean, that's like a guy. He, he just can never hear "Stairway to Heaven" enough times. <laughs> no, you're a hack. I'm not a, you hack. Are a hack. I am just you saying that that you enjoy Carrot Top. One you example. go to Vegas and you watch Carrot Top. No, and he pulls no. crazy shit out of a Carrot Top, top and you never sit there with a look of glee on your face, you like do? you're hooked up to a fucking. I hate grip. the Carrot Top. Hate Carrot Top. But <laughs> but he's adorable when he's doing it. I'm. He is not adorable. <laughs> I mentioned one bit that Carlin did of late, and it's 20 uh, years old. Yeah, it's 20 years old. That's yeah, a, that's I'm a, into ACDC. You shook me all night long. That, that's a that's I, a catchy tune. George, you mainstream. Mr. I'm Kim, sorry. Right out oh, over the plate. Oh, I should just love this shit because it's Carlin. Mr. Carlin no, but you just said you said saying. I love George Carlin, and you you pick up the fucking hacky one. Mr. Carlin hacky, was preaching. It had preaching. some laughs in it, at least. Jesus Christ. Mr. Carlin was just preaching there. That's that all. was preaching. So did Hacky. That was with fucking Mr. politics. That was getting up there and just be, uh, uh, doing a political speech. There you I go. don't know how many times I have to agree with you that there could have been some more punchlines. Right, some take more. A break. Well, I'm one. not going to sit here and trash guys, George Carlin. Guys, huh? we got to take a break. It would be a crime. Don't if, trash uh, Carlin, so turn to my shirt. It would be a crime if this <laughs> show ended without trash. us going to <laughs> paradise. <laughs> Can we all now get, here's something we can all... Can we all get together you for know, paradise? No. Why? A poor, drunk, fucking blonde girl, we're going to tear her apart like big, brave men? I'm not going to be part of this. I think Tara deserves a little you know more respect. Right now? It's he, exploitation he through being editing. childish. You're going to fucking compare Tara Reid to George Carlin? I'm saying that we she, shouldn't she's exploit the fact that they no, edit her saying, to look stupid. What you're saying is, is what, what the fuck I just said about George is the same thing what you're saying about Tara. You're mocking me right now, Anthony, and I don't appreciate right. it. You're right. We're getting together for paradise <laughs> after the break, okay? Okay. 